Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm of the Sudden Babies and happy Tuesday and happy Super Tuesday for those that are voting today. Finally, I found the time to make an actual video. Um, I've been mean, making videos here and there, but I can now show you the second baby that I got on February the 5th. She came in the day that my uncle became unresponsive, so it's taking me a while to actually come back making videos. I really had a bad day yesterday. It was, I was kind of down again, and it's, I didn't realize that grieving does take a long time, so the whole family has been affected, and yeah, so it's been one of those things, and today I got to see a power attorney, so if anything happens to me, um, my organs will be donated. So that's my goal. I wanted to do that, even though, yes, I'm a cancer patient, but as long the cancer hasn't affect my, my kidneys or liver or pancreas or the heart, that's what counts. And whatever those organs can work for others because life is short. So yeah, I feel good about that. I thought about donating my whole body to science, but one of my family members, um, it's not in favor of it. So I said, okay, I didn't know that you can donate organs like that. So I'd rather do that. And eventually in the future, these be these babies will be donated to the uh, uh, nursing home for Alzheimer's and dementia patients. Some of them had been hit with cancer. So that's my, uh, power attorney living well. If anything happens to me, I want that to be donated. And all of my arts that I have done with my cancer support group, it will, it will go back to them. So that is my goal. So yes, I feel good doing this because it's the right thing to do. And you know, they have done so much for me, so why not? And I want to show support because this is worse than having cancer. At least with cancer, you can control it. But when Alzheimer's and dementia patients like my dad and my uncle, sadly, he had cancer. Um, well, it, does, it doesn't really slow down that much. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make this video. Enough about that. I don't want to make a depressing video. It's happy Tuesday, right? <laughs> so, yeah. So, today, you have here a replica elf. I don't remember the name of the uh, actual skull. I'm sorry. So today I'm just going to show you to her. And she is a replica. I'm sorry if you guys feel offended. Please do not watch this video because I don't want people to be upset with me because I want a replica. She's one of them and I have two more. Um, I'm also expecting a box opening that would be sometime today, so that'll be a separate video. But today I wanted to talk about something um, yesterday uh, when I was scrolling, watching a video. Uh, there's this news media called Shark. Um, evidently, this must have been, been uh, shown 10 months ago, and I see Tasha in there. Uh, I'm upset about that. I mean, it's her body, her choice. But I feel like back in 2019, when she was still more active, I don't even know where she is, but it doesn't matter. Um, she decided to, she didn't really expose her breasts all the way, but it does show that she was breastfeeding her reborn baby. A lot of people took a hit on that, and that's gross because if you want to sell your reborn babies or your silicone, it would be much harder because, you know, you're putting your, ba your fake baby on the breast. So um, that came out on social media news, and my jaw just dropped. So uh, that's didn't care for it, and I was not very happy about it. I posted it on my community wall, and you can watch it in the video, and you could be you could be the judge how you want to feel about that, but it's disappointing. So, yeah, I mean, 
I don't know what to say about that, but I found that really gross. So yeah, but yeah, I'm disappointed about that. So you can watch that. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on while I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, I was able to fix this, so it's cool. Um, yeah, it's disappointing, you know, watching my dad is like, really? I'm not washing her hair because her hair's mohair, so I'll leave that alone. Just wanna wash her face and all. So, I don't know. Just find that really disgusting and offensive. So I felt like, and I posted ever since, since 2018, all the new generations that are in there now, I felt like they ruined this hobby because it was really sacred back then. So I don't know, I'm just disappointed, but there's nothing I can do about it. This is a different time, different generation, so yeah, I'm just sad. So you can look into that. Also, I wanted to, to talk to you guys about finance, and I know Little Waddle Nursery has explained it very thorough, and you can do that. Oops, hold on. Um, it's okay if you want to do the financial part with Ashton Drake, but my thing is that if you cannot afford it and you fall behind on your payments, you're going to end up in a collection agency and that's what happened to you. So rather than rushing it, um, let me go ahead and add more water in here. Um, instead of rushing it why not just look around and wait and see because as uh, I forgot her name she did her video she's from Canada you know this hobby is not for everyone and I agree you know I remember being comp compulsive buyer that's one thing you don't want to be a compulsive buyer and being broke sometimes get a baby and whoops suddenly you're not happy and what happens you try to sell it or if you can pay for it you'll be in the collection agency how are you going to pay it off so that's my thing so i mean it's your business how you do i'm just saying before you commit yourself to do anything Go look at your budget and know what you want because if you buy too many, chances are you're not going to buy them with all of them. And I did that. So my thing is make sure that you bond the baby that you like. So yeah. All right. We'll be right back. I'm going to change the war. Hi, everybody. I am back again. Thanks for your patience. I just had to change the water. So what I was saying before, it's your money, you do whatever you want to do, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but just keep in mind, keep an eye on your finance, and make sure you know that's what you want, because I promise you, at the end of the day, when you're stuck with finance, and you cannot pay it off, you won't be able to succeed in your finance, and when you get too many reborns i mean unless you know uh, some of these ladies they bomb all of them i cannot get all of them oh, okay oh sorry my machine got mad but if you cannot bond with all of them i mean some some of y'all can but just know what you're doing what you're getting yourself into because getting into debt it's not fun and i'm just being honest here i'm gonna turn my camera this way hold on one second let's see okay can you all see her let's see i 
I think you can see her. You just maybe have to push her this way. I don't know. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, yeah, actually, there. Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so my thing is just know what you want. And because you don't want to get into debt, then you get stuck. Sometimes when you buy a reborn from someone and it's not according to your like, then you decide you want to sell it and you're, you can't, <clears throat> you cannot bond with the baby then, and then you're financially, you're stuck or you're trying to either sell it or give it to someone and you might feel guilty about it. So I did that. So yeah, but anyway, it's a choice is yours. Just be careful, be very careful um, how you spend, it's up to you, but make sure you look and if it's the baby that you like, then get one. If it's not, just keep looking. You know, and if you cannot afford to pay Ash and Dre, go ahead. But just make sure you pay it off with the monthly payments. And the same thing goes with Paradise Galleries. So, I mean, they're pricey for me. And I can't anyway because I mess up my credit. So, yeah. So, that's, that's what I have to say. But anyways, I just wanted to make this short. I don't want to keep writing, but I just wanted to share about the video yesterday and show her off. Um, I put her hair like this because I don't, I don't like to wet it, and it has mole hair. And with mole hair, if you wash it, it tends to get really dry. So her hair is different, so I did that to uh, dry it. Okay. But anyways, I hope you are having a nice super tuesday and i'll see you sometime later today with a box opening so yeah all right thanks for watching bye